Update now on a story happening now. Fire crews on the scene of a deadly mobile home fire in Hayward. Crown Force Will Tran's been there all morning long, keeping an eye on the developing situation. Will, what have you learned? Well, the fire started at 3 o'clock in the morning. It took them only 20 minutes to knock down the flames, get it under control. But once they went into the mobile home, and this is a mobile home park with a lot of them close together, but fortunately, this fire stayed only at this particular building. Once they went inside the home, they searched it. They found one man inside about 10 feet from the front door. They don't know because uh, if he died because of the fire or he died before it, and then uh, they went inside, and like I said, they pretty much contained the fire there. You can see the investigators are still on the scene here, the fire department. Once the sun comes up a little bit more, the investigators then will come out to find out the cause of the fire. It was fully engulfed in that 20 minutes to the point where they had to knock holes within the building itself to ventilate it, to get all of the smoke and, and the heat out for the fire department to go in there safely. Right now, his name not identified, not being released until his next of kin has been notified. Uh, the power in this situation here has been restored. PG&E came out, they monitored the situation, and it appears that only the mobile home park is without power at this time. Back to you, James. All right, Will, thank you much. Again, as more information comes in, we'll go back out live to Will for the update.